Antiochian art in the cemetery. Look to the front, in the fourth row, from bottom to top. You will find a bronze tombstone with the signature of Bernardo Viejo, Medellín, 1886-1956, son of a family of musicians and painters who was a pioneer in the technique of casting in the monumental sculptor in the country. This is his tomb. In addition, his works decorate the cemetery. Like him, many local artists left their legacy in this place, including Marco Tobón Mejía, Constantino Carvajal, and Francisco Antonio Cano. Their signatures reveal the importance of the pieces dedicated to the deceased. Can you identify the other bronze sculptures of Maestro Viejo? The signature can be a clue. Turn and observe the central patio. Look carefully and find many of his works, such as Las Tres Marías, The Three Marys, located in the Mausoleum 310, of the family of Pedro Estrada. Las Tres Parcas, or The Three Fates, as they are also known, have served as inspiration for the most unique legends, and together they commemorate significant events such as the Eucharist, Mother's and Father Day. There are also guided tours and cultural programs day and night available in San Pedro. Their presences remain unperturbed, for they are vigilant to anyone who tries to disturb the tranquility of the dead. Their finely carved faces reflect the deepest emotions, and their slender figures captivate the interest of all audiences for their exquisite style. For some, the three Marys embody the ages of life, childhood, youth, and old age, and have numerous devotees and are the object of various floral offerings and attention. Among its fervent visitors are some from the marginal world of the city, such as prostitutes and transvestites, in search of health and protection. It is believed that they are the embodiment of three souls. To continue observing the works of the Master Viejo, we now go to the Mausoleums 408 of the De Bedut family, where Félix de Bedut Moreno, 1868-1948, lies. It was built based on the plans of Agustin Gouverts and decorated with the lavish work of a guardian angel. The collective attraction that this tomb generates is due in part to the familiarity with the surname de Bedut, a name that identifies one of the most popular publishers in Antioquia in the country. Given that a large percentage of the population that for decades read school books and literary works published by them, but being in front of the tomb, what most impresses and thrills visitors of the contribution of the celestial entity that guards its entrance, a protective angel and warrior that personifies in an exceptional way two qualities, that of the winged emissary of a Christian character and that of a legendary knight with his sword, typical of an Arthurian legend. Continue your visit to the next station, Political Life in San Pedro, which you will find in Gallery 51, San Pablo Norte, on the left side of the mausoleum of Carlos R. Restrepo. But first, do not forget to stop at the representation of the Piedad de Viejo. Located just behind the mausoleum, you are observing.